Hey guys, Effie here. Today I'm going to make this card using our new coming up poinsettia set, which was released in our fall 2018 release. If you haven't checked out our new release, head over to our blog uh, to see all of the new products. So let's get started with this project. I'm going to be doing some watercoloring. So I'm starting off with some rose gold heat embossing using our rose gold. And I stamped this beautiful image onto some Canton XL 140 pound watercolor paper at the same same time that I embossed my florals, I also embossed the sentiment. I'm making a really quick watercolored card today. Now, there is very little effort because the florals are arranged in a beautiful cluster. You just stamp it once, slap on a sentiment, paint the cluster, and you're really just done. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'll be doing some wet and wet watercoloring. I painted my poinsettia with clean water first using a fine tip water brush. Then with the second fine tip brush, I'm just going to dip it into my alizarin crimson uh, color burst and I'm going to drop in bits of pigment into the inner corners or portions of my poinsettia petals. Then with that first brush that I use to paint on the clean water. This is my clean brush as I'm going to call it. I'm going to use that clean brush to pull a little bit of that pigment out to the outer edges of my poinsettia petals. This is pretty simple watercoloring, at least for me. Uh, I utilize this technique in most of my videos. So if you're new to our channel, head over to our playlist and the videos uh, where you can watch additional videos of me using this watercoloring technique. And all of the supplies that I use in this video, including the watercolor palette, I know a lot of people are curious about that when they see it for the first time. Everything will be linked in the description box below, so check it out. After I paint my poinsettia petals with my alizarin crimson color burst, I'm going to move on and paint the leaves using phthalo green color burst. And of course, I'll use the same technique. I'll wet the leafy areas with clean water and then I'll just drop in bits of the phthalo green color burst. Now, since the leaves are a lot smaller than the petals, I'm really not going to take too much care. I'm just literally dropping in bits of pigment. I'm going to just pull that color out until it fills the rest of the leaf and then you're done. When I began to paint the florals in this cluster for this video, I actually wet all three uh, poinsettias with clean water and then I <laughs> I don't know why I do that I think it's out of habit uh, because after I work on the first poinsettia I have to go back and re-wet the other poinsettias before I begin painting them so it's really just out of habit you can just paint uh, as you go so uh, and you know as you continue painting you'll figure out your own style so all right, let's move on. Next, I took the large die from our Double Stitch Rectangles large die collection and I die cut my panel into an A2 size panel. It also, uh, this die also adds stitching to the edges. That's what's great about this die. So after I have die cut the panel to fit my side folding A2 card base, I just added some of our strong double sided adhesive behind that panel. Um, these do come in sheets, so I just cut them into strips. And then I mounted my painted panel onto my side folding A2 base. And then lastly, I just added some of our clear rhinestones around my sentiment. And I only added three to keep this card just really nice and clean and simple. So I hope you all enjoyed today's card and video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it on a weekly basis. And also uh, make sure to stop by the blog to check out the rest of our new release. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.